Condemning the violence, US President Joe Biden said that he had been briefed on the shoot at Trump's rally. Biden said in a statement that he was grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well. He said, and I quote, I'm praying for him and his family and for all those who were at the rally as we await further information, unquote. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris too described the incident as abhorrent and said that such violence has no place in the country. Harris shared a post on X saying, and I quote, I have been briefed on the shooting at former President Trump's event in Pennsylvania. Doug and I are relieved that he is not seriously injured. We are praying for him, his family, and all those who have been injured and impacted by this senseless shooting. Unquote. Harris also expressed gratitude to the U.S. Secret Service for their rapid response. She said, and I quote, We are grateful to the United States Secret Service, first responders, and local authorities for their immediate action. She added that violence such as this has no place in our nation. We must all condemn this abhorrent act and do our part to ensure that it does not lead to more violence. Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu shared his shock on social media platform X. He wrote, shocked by the apparent attack on former President Trump, we pray for his safety and speedy recovery. Meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi made it clear that violence in politics isn't okay, sharing her own story to back it up. She was happy that former President Trump wasn't hurt and asked everyone to pray for the well-being of everyone at the rally. Meanwhile, other leaders also reacted to the shooting. In India, after PM Modi's reaction, leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi took to X to condemn the attack on former US President Trump, sharing that he was deeply concerned about the assassination attempt. He wrote, I am deeply concerned by the assassination attempt on former US President Donald Trump. Such acts must be condemned in the strongest possible terms, wishing him a swift and complete recovery.